everybody video here for you today now over the past week or 10 days or so i made a couple longer videos using google earth documenting flood features in the american northwest and i'm going to be making about four of these total this is the third one about three or four years ago i talked about ruins down in the amazon down here and i know a lot of you read graham hancock's book america before and he goes over this extensively talked about it on the joe rogan experience but i thought this would be a good time to make a new video on these ruins because I found quite a bit of them and there was a new video put out that hasn't been watched going over the ruins down here so let's talk about it today but here is the area that was cleared to trees and this whole area if you look on Google Earth is full of ancient ruins down here this is a great area to explore on Google Earth this area of Brazil here and if you want to look around and find any find any of these ruins that I don't go over here or have marked you can leave a location on this video because i want to really document these very well let's just look at where these appear here's this area from overhead that has been cleared of the trees the jungle rio branco is the city kind of in the central west central location of this area here are some of the ruins from overhead geometric geoglyphs here circles octagons squares some of them put together pretty interesting ruins down here Let's just start down here in the south. Some of these I just have one question mark by because I think they could be ruins, but most of these are definitely ancient ruins. Here is a group of them. These geoglyphs, ditches carved in the earth here. And then this one has a pathway aligned perfectly to the west. I'm assuming that might have some sort of a mortuary purpose, but that is one set of them right there. This area right down here, there is just a single circle carved in the earth. Right down here seems to be on a slight rise that is just a ditch very symmetrical almost perfectly round and if we back out and go just a little bit north here this area here there are three big squares right down here these are a little different they are double ditched those are some pretty impressive geoglyphs right down there one right there, one right there. And if we back out, I have three of them marked. That third one is right down here. What is the purpose of these? Well, it's pretty interesting here. You notice this has a slight pathway coming off this way. So there are a lot of unanswered questions to these geoglyphs here. Then just northwest of those three squares, there is a big square right down here. And this is very large. Notice it right there. Let's just take a measure of that real quick. This is in meters going across. That is about 200 meters or 600 feet across. So that is pretty impressive right there. East of this area, we have an enclosure marked here. These are just very general descriptions that I put down and I'm not even remembering clearly what I marked, but comes back to me when I see these here. This is aligned almost directly north. This is a pretty impressive feature here. The ditch here is pretty deep. Evidence of an ancient civilization. Just north and west of that feature. Go to this area right down here. Some of these I've showed in previous videos. Some of these I'm showing for the first time. Some of these I'm going to show you. I'm just not sure if they're ruins or not, but this that is a pretty big enclosure. I'm pretty sure that's an ancient ruin right there. It just looks right in my mind's eye. Looks ancient. Doesn't appear to be part of this structure right here. Kind of fading away. The way to tell with these ruins is to figure out if the sides of these are actual ditches. And that appears to be very much a ditch right there. So that's why I think it's an ancient ruin. Very much appears that way to me. Back up, go right up here, a little to the north. These are all over this area. Evidence that the population here was very large. Let's align this to a perfect north here. So you don't get much of an alignment as far as the four cardinal points, but that has a very impressive double ditch and then a big wall around this place right here. Not very large, but definitely an ancient ruin right there. And here you notice it almost appears that this thing has pathways coming off each sides of it, even though 
it doesn't appear to be aligned perfectly north. Let's go over to the next closest ruin here, this area right down here. I have an enclosure marked. Some of these are pretty faded, but this one here, not sure if all these are documented, but that is an ancient ruin right down there. The ditch gives it away. There is that feature, and if you hear stuff in the background, it's a little noisy outside. Dog barking. It appears, sounds like there is a wounded moose outside, but in Vegas, that's probably unlikely. And here is another set of ruins, double box here, sitting out there in the middle of this area here that was cleared of trees. And right up from this area here, we have this double square. I have it marked double box, but here you can see these geoglyphs. They don't appear to be aligned to anything. But these are pretty large. Let me just measure these here. They both appear to be the same size. Those appear to be about 130 meters across right there, two of them. Let's back out, go, on, go to an area right over here to the east. I have this marked as an enclosure. It's right down here. This appears to be a little more faded, but evidence of that ancient geoglyph ditch right there. Now this video caught my eye. This came out about a week ago. This is from the European Association of Archaeologists. They make their videos shareable, but there was a lecture here on these geoglyph ruins, some stuff that was found. Unfortunately, it's not in English, so I can't really tell you exactly what was said, but they go over these structures here. It says, they are earthen structures with diverse geometric designs and closing spaces that sometimes are interconnected clusters that are not easy to appreciate in its wholeness from the ground. I will leave the link for this below if you want to watch it. Here's a set of pics from the lecture. They go over the different sizes apparently. Here is a ditch down in the bottom center that will give you an idea of what makes up the outline of these structures. A ditch down there in the bottom right too. There is just some of these ruins, some of these I showed you, some of these I probably didn't, and here is the area that they are located in, in Brazil. There are a lot of unanswered questions with these, but it says a work in progress, no doubt. First notice in 1977, in 2000, 32 sites were recorded. Intense remote sensing survey have taken place since 2005. And it says, as we speak in Brazil and Bolivia, there are about 220 of these that are recorded and the number is growing. It says at the top how to preserve this important heritage. And there at the top is a couple look, one circular enclosure, one large square enclosure. Here are some stone tools found at these sites, some grounding stones. Here is a dating chart. They think some of these newer features are only about 800 years old. Some of the older ones, about 40, 500 years old. So that spans a long time frame there. I believe this lecture is from a couple years ago, but it was just uploaded last week, and you just don't find a lot of info on these sites. There are a few more of these geoglyphs in the bottom. But it says here, the archaeological objectives are to document as well as possible these structures to implement and the spatial data, the infrastructure to do some survey and some excavation a little further in this video here they show one of these structures very well you get an idea of the depth of these ditches here work continues here in this area of the world i will leave this link below if you want to watch but i just thought this was very interesting even though i didn't understand a lot what was said here but there is one of these geoglyphs, just part of it sticking under the jungle here. Talk about future work, and obviously LIDAR is going to be used, already has in a few of these places. You can see the ditch clearly defined on the LIDAR pick on the left, a smaller structure off to the left here, a pathway coming off. Then from overhead, you really can't see too much of those features, just on Google Earth from overhead. Now I'll show some of these ruins down in the southeastern area of this cleared area. This up here is just a simple square enclosure. Right down here, there is a circle and a square, and it has pathways coming off. This reminds me of stuff you would see out in the fields of ancient America. The circle, barely visible here. It seems to be maybe a pathway coming off, or maybe that's part of the farmer's field. That's probably what that is. 
circle and then a square enclosure that goes into the trees over here. You can see it perfectly though, the ditch and this pathway coming off to perfect south. So that is interesting. A couple of ruins, circle and a square right there. And down in the very northwest of this area, there is a place mark here. Google Earth has this on here, El Dorado. But that is a square enclosure surrounded by a more circular enclosure, just one of these different geoglyphs. And then just north and east of that site I just showed you here, this, I can only describe this as an octagon. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight sided. Here is very symmetrical. And this is, let me see here, do a quick measure. That is about maybe 165 meters across. Octagon, different formation. Just south of what I just showed you, we have this feature here. It's a large 175 by 150 meter enclosure. And then right down here, something that I had questions about. Is this a faded ruin down here? Well, let's see what I was looking at. But this kind of caught my eye. Looks like a round feature right here coming around this way. That is one I had questions on. That appears to me that that could be formation or just something very circular that's naturally formed that's why i have the question marks right there just in the north of this area here i have this marked this is called causeway place only because this is one of the better indicators that there are pathways coming off of these square enclosures you can see it right there and if we align this perfectly to north I'm assuming that is aligned to the summer solstice sunrise. That's just the way it looks to me. Uh, give you an idea, those pathways there. Just a little bit to the east and north, there is another circular enclosure right down here. This does have a pathway, it appears, going directly north into the woods there. When we back out, there is a square enclosure right up here. This is just kind of sitting out in the middle of nowhere. And it is right here. This appears to be double ditched. We are aligned, so that it doesn't appear to have any alignment built in it. And we have a feature, these question marks. I looked at those again. I'm not sure they are ruined, so I'm just going to kind of skip over those. Right down here, small square, big square. And it is right down here. What does that mean? Small square, big square seem to be connected with pathways. But these ruins all appear to be pretty unique. All very similar, if that makes any sense. In the far eastern area here, this is one enclosure I found. We are perfectly aligned to north-south, so it appears the very top of this is due north, the very bottom due south. Those appear to be some alignment in there. Then we go north, I call this the big ditch right here. When I first looked at this, I had some questions. Is this, this an enclosure made by modern people? Then I looked at it a little more closely, and this does appear to be a very large ditch. So it tells me it's probably an ancient ruin, and this is about 350 meters long. And then the cross, it's probably a little less than that here. Let's measure that real quickly. That's about 245 meters going that way. So that is a very large enclosure and it is a ditch. So I'm thinking it's very ancient. When I say it's a ditch, I mean the outer walls are made of a ditch embankment feature. In the very north here, I have a couple things marked. There is one ancient circle right there. Assuming that's an ancient ruin, that shows up a little better than others, just probably based on what the ground is like in the area. Ruins marked right here. Well, let's take a look. These, yeah, there is a big square right here and a small square. Notice that right there. That is perfectly aligned to north. But that appears to be very unique to the area. Very large feature here. It's a perfect square on top of that. This appears to be one of the more impressive ruins in the area. Appears pathways going off to the south and the east. Maybe this way. 
smaller square, bigger square. Just measure that real quickly to be thorough. Bottom feature appears to be about 280 meters across. And this top square, about 130 meters across. So that was built with intent. Pathways, features inside of features down here. We have the smaller square above the bigger square, which is very interesting. One final look at that feature from the pathway coming off to the east. That you can see it perfectly right there. And it comes into this bigger feature right down here. That is pretty cool. Now this area right down here, I just marked big. This is one of the more impressive areas I found. Smaller enclosures with pathways and then a large Large square features right here with pathways clearly coming off. Here we are perfectly aligned. Does that tell us anything? Well, not really. It just kind of faded evidence here of an ancient culture. All we have to go on, a few artifacts and these geoglyphs they left us here. This is a very interesting area to look around. This is one area I marked with three question marks. It's caught my eye. Is this a circular enclosure right down here with a pathway coming off in this direction? Here we are aligned with that in my mind's eye. It came off as an ancient ruin here with maybe a pathway coming off just because it appears circular. And that pathway might give it away. Just not sure about that site right down there. Those are just some of my ruins I have documented in this area. Some I don't have marked yet. Graham Hancock's chapter on the Amazon ruins were very fascinating in his book, America Before. They seemed to develop a special soil that really aided their agriculture. But that just learned a lot reading that book. That is a good review of the ruins in the Amazon down here. Found when this area was cleared of trees. I've showed some of those before. Some of those, first time I showed them, but that is probably my fourth video on these ruins down here. I will leave a link for that video below if you want to watch, even though it's not in English. Still pretty interesting. But I hope you thought that was cool and you all have a very nice day.